Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the functions of the RPM generator. The RPM generator allows you to create artificial revolution speed signals and to add them to your measurement data as analog channels. That way, you can perform, for example, RPM-based analyses or order analysis, even if the revolution speed was not, or not correctly, acquired during your measurement. To create an RPM channel for a measurement, Open the file in the Head Navigator or open a mark in the Source Pool by right-clicking on it and selecting Open with RPM Generator. The RPM Generator is now opened as a new document. The two diagrams show an FFT versus time analysis and the revolution speed curve of the signals. When first opened, the mark does not yet contain a revolution speed channel, therefore the revolution speed is displayed as zero. The right area of the document window provides access to the settings for calculating the revolution speed. To determine the revolution speed, first enter the known number of an order that exists in your signal and is clearly identifiable in the analysis. Now click on Mark Prominent Order, then define a reference point by clicking on the order curve of the specified order in the diagram. Rising or falling slopes are particularly suitable for the reference point. Now you can start the revolution speed generation by clicking on Start Detection. The bottom window now displays the calculated revolution speed curve of the signal. A click on Save HDF File saves the signal to a new HDF file containing the additional revolution speed channel. The new file has the original name with the letters RPM added at the end. You can also specify a name for the newly created channel and limit the revolution speed information to a certain time section. You can use this function, for example, to write only the rising slope of the revolution speed curve to the new file. You can now add the new HDF file to the source pool of a pool project and perform RPM-dependent analyses. Depending on your application case, you may want to use additional functions of the RPM generator. In the top bar, you can select the channel to be used for the analysis and the generation of the revolution speed curve. If you have an acceleration channel available, it's usually a preferred choice, because order curves are recorded more clearly in this case than is usual for airborne sound channels. The FFT versus time itself is not used in the RPM generation, which occurs in the time domain. It is merely a guide for you to identify the location of a known order you may choose the block size of the FFT. Furthermore, the diagrams of the RPM generator allow you to use all the functions you are familiar with from your data viewer diagrams. These include, for example, the cursor functions, which you can access by right-clicking in the diagram, or the axis configuration options, which you can access by right-clicking on the respective axis. Now you have gained some insight into the functions of the RPM generator. In a separate tutorial, you will learn more about some advanced functions and configuration options of the RPM generator, for example, how to use the detection area to generate a revolution speed channel with various settings.